como Father, we give you the praise tonight. We worship you, Lord. We adore your name for you, our Lord, our Father. Lord, we're in the battle, Lord. Do not let us fall, Lord. Amen. Lord give us the grace to overcome the storm, Amen. Lord. Give us the grace by your mercy. Amen. Just as you give to your purpose, Father. Amen. Father, in our home, we cannot do anything, Lord. But please do not let us fall. For the storm is too much, Lord Jesus. Give us the grace to be in your feet on that very day. Give us the grace not to be distracted. Give us the grace not to be deceived. Lord, help us to finish this race to the end. Father, Lord Jesus, we have gathered here once again to eat from your throne. Lord Jesus, come and speak to me, Lord. Amen. Come and put your word in my mouth, Father. Amen. Might not speak a word of my own. Father, so many that are going to hear this word, going to hear your word, Father King of Glory, I raise it and minister to them yourself, oh Lord. Father King of Glory, Lord, as we have yea, Lord, as we are here to hear your word, Father, let it be a change. Let it be a transformation. Anywhere in our Amen. life that we need, to, Lord, let it be a transformation by your mercy. Lord, give us the grace. Help us, Abba Father. Let Amen. your word have reach so many souls. As so many that are going to come across this video, as so many that are going to listen to it, let it be a transformed by your mercy. May they not be deceived, may they not be Amen. misled. Lord, give every one of us the grace to finish well. Amen. We give you our praise, Lord. May I disappear, let you appear, Lord. Come and be in charge. Come and take her. May your name and Lord be glorified. Come and be in our praise. It's okay, everything we're going to do here. Your word tonight, minister to each every one of us. Minister to our soul tonight. For you are God of by yourself. Take all the praise. For you are God, you're not a man. For in Jesus' name that I've Amen. Amen. Good evening, my brothers and sisters. Good evening, my beloved brethren. Good evening. I'm um, here. We're going to talk about. The topic, do not be mislead. Do not let anyone to deceive you. Because we are in the end time. And so many things is going on in the world. Many things is going on. So do not let those things to mislead you. Do not let the talk of somebody to mislead you. Do not let my character or the character of anyone to distract you. Do not let my world, do not let anyone to deceive you. Because we are in the end time, my brother and sister. We should watch the time. We should prepare. Because we are not in the end time. Because the Bible says, many will be deceived. Many will be mislead. So prepare yourself. Do not let anyone, do not let that character, that was that doing, to distract you. Do not be deceived by anyone. Do not be mislead by the character of people, by the words of somebody. Just focus in the word of God. Focus, put your mind on the things above. Do not let anyone, anybody, do not let it. But so many things is be going on in the world today. So many things. Because we are not in the end time. Lucifer is not playing. Lucifer is not playing. He's not even joking. So my brother said, we should be aware. For the things we hear outside, for the things we watch, we should be careful. We should watch because so many things will distract people. Many people will be misled. Many people will be deceived. But my brother, sister, do not deceive you. Watch. Be cautious of eternity. Because we are in the end time. Don't let anybody, do not let any man or woman, anything on this earth to deceive you, to mislead you. Because Lucifer is mm -mm, not, he fall from there, he not the way the place is beautiful. 
He was there before. So he's fighting everything every, very hard to mislead the children of God, to deceive us. You will not see him face to face, you will not see him physical. But we will enter people. He will enter people just like the way Christ possesses his children. He used vessel, Lucifer himself, our vessel, that he will use to deceive the, the elect, to deceive the children of God. Do not let anything, do not let anyone to mislead you. Not nothing in this world. Do not let stand your ground as a child of God. Stand your ground in the word that you believe. Do not let anyone on earth do not let anything no do not let any cut of anyone to mislead yourself to deceive yourself do not let do not let and the time is very short do not let anything to deceive you do not let anyone, the words of men, to deceive you. Do not let them, because they will come. They will surely deceive you, but do not give heal to that deceitful words. Do not give heal to that thought. Do not even, your mind will even deceive you. Do not give heal. Do not listen. Do not give it to those deceiving words, my brothers and sisters. Please, I don't know if anyone will turn to me to the book of James chapter, chapter 1, verse 16. We should go to the word of God. So I will not like we say, like somebody say, you understand my brothers and sisters. One verse 16. Verse 16. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Amen. Amen. That's what the Bible says. Do not be mislead. Do not be deceived. Do not let anyone to deceive you. Do not let anything, my brothers and sisters, my beloved brothers in Christ, my beloved sisters in Christ, do not be, do not let anything at all to mislead you. Do not be deceived. Do not let. I don't know if anyone will turn to me to the book of Matthew 24, 4 verse 5. Matthew 24, verse 4 and 5. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no one deceives you. Verse 5. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. Amen. Many. He said, will be deceived. He said, and he will deceive many. Do not let the fake prophets, fake things, they will come and deceive you. They will come to say words to, that will switch your ear, that will switch your mind. Do not be deceived. Do not let anyone to mislead you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Do not let anything at all. Many will come in the name of the Lord. Many false prophets, many believers will fall. Do not be deceived by the words. Do not be misled by the action, by the doings, by the doings. Focus in the word of God. Because the Bible says we should lay our foundation in the foundation of the 12 apostles. Then Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone. If you want to make it on that very day, do not be misled. Do not let anyone to deceive you because we are in the end time. Many things will go on. Many people will come on, many fake prophets. Over many people, they say that they are end time ministers, but they will deceive many. They will mislead so many. Stand firm, stand your ground in the word that you believe on. In the word of God, because the word of God is the same. The word of God cannot kick against his own self. The word of God is one. Do not let anyone to mislead you. Do not let anything to deceive you. Do not let the words of people to change your direction. Do not let anybody in this head, my brethren, do not be deceived. Do not be de deceived by anything at all. You can hear what the Bible says. 
And Jesus said to them, take heed that no one deceive you. Take heed. He said, take heed that no one deceive you. Do not let anyone deceive you. Do not let. Take heed that no one should deceive you. And in another Bible translation, said, Jesus said, be careful that no one mislead you, deceiving you and letting you into error. Amen? Amen. Be cautious. Do not let anyone deceive you, my brothers and sisters. Do not let anything in this earth to deceive you, to distract you from the way. Do not be misled. Do not be deceived by ways of men. Do not be deceived by ways of people. Do not let many things will go on, many things that will, will happen, but stand your ground. Do not let them change your path. Do not let them change your belief. They will deceive you. They will tell you, yes, the Christ is here. Is that, do not fall for it. Do not fall for it. Many people will come in the name of the Lord to deceive many. And the Bible says that the love of many will wash cold because of the things they give heed to. Do not let anyone to deceive you because we are in the end time. And many people will fall. Do not be among of them, my brothers and sisters. Stand your ground as a child of God. Hold on to the word of God that you heard. Hold on to it. Do not let anyone mislead you. Do not be deceived by anyone, by the character of people, any things, by ways, not even your thoughts, because your thought is that we will, see, we will see deceive you. Your thought will mislead you to do that wish that will be against you, the, your, your, the word of God. That you do against that wish against your religion, against your belief. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived, my brothers and sisters. Do not let anyone to mislead you. I don't know if you can turn to the book of Colossians. It's um, 2 verse 8. If anyone can turn to me there. Colossians 2 8. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies. And high sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. Amen. You hear what the Bible says? Beware. Beware. Do not let anyone. Do not let it. Beware, my brothers and sisters. By philosophy, do not let them to deceive you with words, with sweet words. Do not be let, do not let them to capture your soul. Because many will be deceived. Many believers, many and the love of so many will was cold because they give heal to the deceiving words. They give heal to the deceiving words of men. Do not let it, my brothers and sisters. Fake prophets will come out. Fake believers will come out. Do not let them to deceive you. Do not let them to distract you. Do not let them to change your belief. Stand your ground. Hold on to the word of God. When they come, they tell you this. You tell them, no, this is not what's written in my Bible. If your mind tell you do this, tell your mind, no, this is against my religion. This is against God. My mind, stop it. Like you, you come show it. You control your mind. You rebuke that spirit that is talking to you. Because it will deceive you. You say, eh, you know, see that one? Eh, eh, do small now. Eh, shop now. Drink small this now. Small this one, no go affect you. Eh, take small this. Do not give heed to those deceiving works. Do not give heed to those deceiving spirits. Many, the Bible says, many will fall. The love of many will was cold. Do not be among of them. Do not be deceived by the words of men. Do not be deceived by the things that you see on this earth. Do not be deceived. 
Go on to, to the word of God. The word of God will sharpen you, will make you to know your left and your right. It's only a believer that does not know his left and right will allow someone or the worst of people to distract him. There's a believer that don't know his left and right in the word of God that will allow a man to mislead him. Do not be misled. Do not be deceived. Hold your ground as a child of God. Hold that word that you have heard. Hold on to it. Like the word of our sister preached yesterday. He said, don't say you're, you're here from here. You go here, here. Focus in one place. Because by listening here, going to this church, going to that place, you'll be deceived. Because you don't know the one that is telling you the main truth. You don't know the one that is leading you to Christ. You don't know the one that is leading you to hell. Because why? Well, you don't want to sit there in one place. You're looking for a miracle. From there, that is when they deceive you and capture your soul. That nobody can able to deliver you out. But you can deliver yourself by not giving heed to those deceiving words, by not giving ears to those deceiving talks of men. Do not listen, because they will deceive many. Many will, will be deceived. Many will be changed, will be changed, will be distracted. Do not be among them, my brothers and sisters. Stand your ground as a daughter of Zion. Stand your ground as a son of the Most High God. Do not let anyone to deceive you. Do not let anyone to take that weight that you have obtained from the Lord. Because Lucifer has seen that light. He will look for a way to cover it. He will look for a way to distract you. He will look for a way to deceive you. For you not to obtain the crown of grace. Do not give heal. To those deceiving spirits. Rebuke them. Cast them away from you. Do not let them to deceive you. Out from the narrow paths. Do not let them to deceive you. Out from that gate that leads to eternal life. No. Rebuke those words. Rebuke your spirit. Rebuke anyone that is misleading you. Now you holy pass. Now you did this pass. You don't see her. See this one, you don't see your sister. Where's the Naomi? No, city do. They will use that one to deceive you. They will use it to distract your way. But do not give him. Because that man or that woman will not be the one to judge you on that day. Not over me. Do not let my character to distract you. Do not let my character to over deceive you. No. Go on to the word of God. The word of God is there. Do not be misled by anyone. Do not let no matter to deceive you. The word of God cannot kick against itself. Mm -mm. Men can kick against itself, but the word of God will never. The word of God is one. The word of God is one. But you see today, they will tell you this church has his own doctrine. This church has his own doctrine. And it's only one doctrine that Christ has. Because the deceiving spirit have entered to the body of Christ. They give heed, they listen to those deceiving spirits to deceive many out of the narrow gates. Do not be among those ones that will be deceived out of the narrow gate. Do not be among them that will, be, that will capture your soul that no one can able to drag you out from that bondage. Do not let the character of people to mislead you, to deceive you, to distract you. Stand your ground. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived by men. Do not be deceived by men words. Go on to the word of God. That thing that you know you did not find in the word of God, do not do it. The word of God said, don't do this, don't do it. The word of God said, do this, you do it. Because your father loved you, he gave you the commandment. Your father loved you, he, he wants you to do it for you to be saved. On that day, if you repent, he did not change Christ. If you did not repent, he did not change him for who he is. For who he is. He still remained the king. So your character will never change him. If you let anyone to mislead you, that is your own. He will not change. No. Because you know why? We are not the only one he have. So for that reason, do not let anyone at all to mislead you. Do not be deceived. 
by words of people, by character of people, by things of people, stand your ground. To the word that you believe, if you let poop come from my head, I know they go. If you let do this, I know they bow. Mesha, Shilka, and Abednego. Over the, the king, threatened them with fire, they said they bow not. Because they know what they believe. They don't let the threat of the king to, to distract them. They don't let the words of the king to mislead them. They stand. They say, we we'll rather die than to bow. How many people will take that decision? Say, I'd rather die than to bow. So many things. Do not let any man, do not let any woman, anybody on earth to mislead you because the road is narrow. Very now that someone can fall out. Do not let anyone to push you out of the way. When Judah do what he do, when he, when he take to that deceiving spirit, they're not, they're not with, they put another person for a position. Someone took a position. Someone have taken the place of Judah. If you let anyone to deceive you out from the narrow way, they will not wait for you. They will take your place because someone, someone took the position of Judah. The seed that Jesus wants to occupy is being occupied by someone else. So do not let anyone to mislead you. Do not be deceived by words, by things, by the doings of men. Do not be deceived. Do not let them to mislead your soul. Focus in that word of God that you have heard from the beginning. Hold on to his word. Because he said his word is sharper than two edged sword that pierces it to the earth, the souls and the marrows. As a child of God, do not let anyone to mislead you. Stand your ground. Do not be deceived by ways of people. Do not be misled. Do not let it to mislead your soul in a body that you cannot come out, in a situation that you carry. I don't know. Now you can you can retrieve your step. Now that you can you can turn back because why? There's still time. You, you are still alive. Do not let them ways of people to distract you, to mislead you, to change your path. Amen. Amen. I don't know if anyone can help me to open the book of Ephesians 5, 5 to 7. Vision 5, verse 5 to 7. For this you know that no fornicator, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Mm -hmm. Verse 6. Let no one deceive you with empty ways. For because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Verse 7, the last. Mm -hmm. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. Amen. That's the word of God. <laughs> The word of God cannot change. The word of God cannot change. Do not be deceived. Do not be misled. No fornication, adultery, those people, those things, liars. We hear with the kingdom of God. If you are being misled, ah, do some more, chop some more, drink some more, lie some more. Then we come with sweet ways, with sugar in the mouth to deceive you. But do not give heal to them. Do not listen to them. Because they have their own place in the lake of fire. They have their own punishment. You that know the word of God. Do not let someone to mislead you. What will you say to your creator on that day? Do not let your pastor. Do not let the character of your pastor. To change your path. Do not let the words of your pastor to mislead you 
So many people, because of what they see in church, they don't want to go to church anymore. You cannot even get, tell them about God. I will tell you, I, I bet you said, I don't to come out. I don't say God did, but I know they go to church. Because what they saw, they make those things to distract them. They make those things to fall them back to the world. Do not let things to take you out from the narrow path. Do not be deceived by the things and by the ways of men, by their character. You see that they jump for all yeah, 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 all those things. But that bad that they do something else. If you mistake it, see them now, you say, ah, now so shall I be. I'm not gonna go. No. Not let their character, not let their words to deceive you. They will come, they will tell you sweet, sweet things. And those things are not in the Bible. They will tell you things that will sweet your mind. Things that the, the body wants to hear. Things that will, that will gladden the, the, the mind. Not your soul. Your soul will be crying. But because you give he, you give little ear, you allow them to deceive you. Here's that you're being deceived. Do not let anyone to deceive you. Fake prophets will come. They will come to tell you those things that are not in the Bible. They will do things, miracles, so things to mislead you from the way. It shows that you are able to do miracles and all the Bible that they read. Uh, it will bore. The word of God is not boring. It's the only thing that will save your soul. Those are the ones to deceive you. They want to distract your way. Not only you there, eh? Do not let them. They will deceive you. They will distract you with words. But do not give heal to them. Because Lucifer is not very happy. Over by gathering here, yeah, this hour, he's not happy. He's not happy. That over one minute, you want to have one minute. For Christ, he's not happy. He will find one or two things to distract you. He will find one or two things to deceive you out from the way. He's not happy. So do not give heal to them. Do not give heal to those deceiving ways. Do not let your soul to meditate on those evil ways that I've said. They will say you that it hey, is that, 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 that. You, 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 now you start meditating on it. It's true. Do not give heal. It's not true. If you hear that word, balance it with the Bible. If it's the same thing with the word of God. You shake it. You do plus and minus with the word of God. If it's the same, you know. Because the word of God cannot kick against itself. Have you ever wondered? Shake it that. Why is it that wish they don't fight? Wish they don't fight themselves. If they see themselves, it's a money courtes people. But the children of God they always fight. Have you wondered? Because Lucifer knows that the day they stand is a trouble. So he not bring deceiving spirits to the house of God. He not bring this, he not come to deceive men for them not to focus on that narrow path, for them not to stand firm to the end. Do not let anyone to mislead you, my brothers and sisters. Stand firm. Stand your ground as a child of God. Do not let the ways of men to distract you. I don't know if anyone can turn to the book of Malachi 2, 11. Misha, Misha. Oh, Malachi, sorry. Malachi. Malachi. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Malachi 2, verse 11. If a man should walk in a false spirit and speak a lie saying I will prophesy to you of wine and drink even him would be would be the prattler of these people Amen Do you hear what the Bible says here? He said, many people will come, false spirits will come to the church to deceive the children of God. 
they will come, they will enter the house of God to deceive. Many, they will tell you, take some more wine, take this one, do this. Do not listen to them. They will come to deceive many, but do not give heed to them. They will spoke so many things. Do not listen. They will say they want to prophesy to you. They want to do this. They want this, that. And take this. Do not listen. Do not give heed to the words. Do not accept it to your soul. Because they will come in different ways to mislead the children of God. As a child of God, let's start fame. Hold on to the word of God. Do not let the words of man, eh, Papa, my holy prophet, this one, that. No. Those ones will deceive you with words that will distract you from the way. They will deceive you with words that it does not correspond with the Bible. As a child of God, stand your ground. Do not let anyone to deceive you. Do not let anybody at all to mislead you. Stand your ground. Hold on to that word of your head. Stand firm. If anybody can turn to the book of Romans 16, verse 18. Do not be deceived by the works of people. Do not let them to mislead you. Romans Many deceit will come, but stand from your ground. Yeah, Romans 16, verse 18. So. 16, 18. Let me start from verse 17 for better understanding. Okay, sir. Now I urge you, brethren, not those who cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which you learn and avoid them. For those who are such do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. And by smooth words and flatly speech, deceive the heart of the simple. Amen. This words with the same maker is the same. Do not give heed to them to cause confusion in your life, to distract you from that way that you have already believed that words, to mislead you. From the narrow path that you already stand. Do not give heed to those deceiving words. Do not let them, because they don't serve the living God. They work for their belly. Do not let them to deceive you with the words of money, to the words that they don't believe that try to receive money from you. Do not let them to deceive you with words that do not correspond with the Bible. To cause confusion in your spiritual life. To cause confusion among you. My brothers and sisters, stand firm. Stand your ground. Hold on to the word of God that you have believed, that you have heard from the foundation. Do not let anyone to deceive you. Do not let anybody at all. Please open to the book of 2 Timothy 5-2. If anybody is there, please read for me. First Timothy 5. Yes, 22. Sir. Verse 22. Do not lay hands on anyone. First Timothy 5, 22. Hastily. Not share in others' people's sins. Keep yourself pure. Amen. Amen. Yes, telling you that do not partake in their sin. Because ye and official five, five, seven, they go together. Because once you partake in their sin, you have your own punishment. 
What were those fake pastors that would deceive you? Do not partake in their sin. Do not let it mislead you. Because everybody will receive their own reward. Once that you let that to mislead you, do not be partaker. Do not share in that corruption. Leave them in their own cup. Leave them. Do not share. Do not be partaker. Do not let them to deceive you and let them not become partaker with their own punishment. Do not let them to deceive you. Hold on to the word of God that we have heard from the beginning. Do not let a man, the character of people, the words, the sweet words, very sweet. Lucifer word is very sweet. But at the end of it, the end of that word is really destruction. It will come with sweet words in the, at the beginning. But when you are going inside, inside, that's when you know it's really other than where you were before. Do not give heal to those deceiving words, to those deceiving spirits. Flee away from there. Go away from there. Do not let them to change your belief, to change who you are. From the word that you have heard, the word that transformed you to a saint. Do not let those words to change you from that saint that you are to become a monster, to become a liar, to become an adulterer and a fornication. To become those things. Do not let those deceiving words to make you do the things that do not glorify your father. They will deceive many. They will come to weaken you. Because I see the way you are born in. They will come with, to deceive your, your soul. Now you pray past. Hey, I sleep so much now. They will deceive you. You not sleep, sleep. That night, they will come. Like that, like that, you see, you weak. Ah, don't read the Bible. Last morning, uh, they've come to deceive you. And shake your phone, shake your phone, shake your phone. Do one or two things. The time that you used to read the word of God, you use it to press your phone. They've deceived the soul. Of, they, they, they've come to deceive your mind. You will not give heed to it. They will come in different ways. Different ways. With your children, they can enter through your children. To your wife, to your husband, to your work, different ways to deceive you. To deceive you from that path that you have stand, from that word that you have heard. They will come to make you fall back. Because Lucifer is not happy. You when you they born, where you want born go. And eh? so you won't go enjoy those things when they have not lie. It will not. But you as a child of God, if you hold on, your father will see you through to the end. If you hold on to the word, Mesha Shereka Kanabenigo, they did not bow. At the later end, they became four in the midst of in the fire. Daniel did not bow. He was saved from the lion's dead. Do not let anyone to deceive your soul. No matter how the things is, no matter how the temptation, no matter how the trial is, hold on to the word of God, not to the word of men. Because your pastor will deceive you. Many people will distract you. But hold on to that word that you have held so that at the later end, you receive your crown of glory. Amen? Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Do not let anyone to deceive you. Amen. Please want to open the book of 2 Thessalonians 3, 2, 3. Book of 2 Thessalonians. Yeah, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. 2, verse 3. Let no one deceive you. Do not come unless they're falling away comes first. The man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. Amen. Do you hear what the Bible is saying here? Do not let 
anyone to deceive you. Do not let anyone by any means. For that day we come, many people will fall. Do not be deceived. Do not let them to deceive you. Hold on to the word that you have believed. Do not fall away from the road. Do not let them to distract you. Do not let them to deceive you from that which that you have believed. Stand your ground. Fake prophets will arise. Many things will arise to distract you, to make you fall, to deceive you in that path. But stand. Stand your ground to the end. Stand. You have finished the race. It's not easy though, but with Christ, the Bible says with God, all things are possible. With him, when you look onto the cross, you press on. When you look onto the cross, you press on. Do not let any words of man or woman to mislead you. Do not let it to change who you are. Do not let it to change you from the sense that you were before to become something else. That I used to be this. I used to be kind of, but the character of this depression. Eh? No, many will come in a sheep cloth, but a wolf to deceive many from the narrow path, to mislead so many people from the narrow path. Stand your ground as a child of God. If anyone can help you to turn to the book of Second Timothy, sorry, First Peter. First Peter 37. First Spirit. First John. I first John, I read in Jesus' name. First John, sir. First John 3, 7. Let me restart it. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practice, practice righteousness. Is righteous just as he is righteous. Amen. Amen. The Bible say, "Let no one deceive you. You that is practice righteousness, be righteous. You that is practicing holiness, be holy. Do not let anyone to deceive you from that way. Do not let anyone to distract you from that way." Do not let it. You that is holy, be holy to the end. You that is righteous, practice righteousness, practice it to the end. Do not let anyone to deceive you. Do not let anyone to mislead you. My brothers and sisters, stop him. Do not let them to deceive you, my beloved brethren in Christ. Do not let anyone to mislead you. For the time is short. Many, the Bible says, the love of many will was cold. Many will be deceived because we are in the end time. Because we are in the last day. We are in the last days. We should be aware. We should be careful, conscious of eternity, my brothers and sisters. We should wash. We should be careful with the things we watch, the things we listen to. Be careful for we not to be deceived, for we not to be misled, for we not to lead our souls astray. My brothers and stand firm. Do not let anything to mislead you. Do not be deceived by words. Do not be mislead by character. Do not let the words of people, the words of pastors, the words of anything at all to mislead you. Stand your ground as a child of God. Hold on to the word of God that you have heard. 
hold on to it. It is very hard, but at the end, is very glorious. At the end, you will rejoice. Do not give heed to those deceiving words, to those deceiving spirits. Anybody that is practicing righteousness and holiness, they will come and deceive you. Deceiving spirit must come. It might come to men or no, no, to your soul. It will come to deceive you. In your heart, different ways it will come. It will not come like a demon because if you come like a demon, you will know. You will be, ah, instantly you will on. You will be, I cast you. No, you won't deceive me. But no, it will not come like that. It will come to your children, to your wives, to your husband, to your boss, to your teachers, to the people around you to deceive you. It will come to your soul. That yeah, just takes someone now. And it said, I said, take you drink and for stomach sake. It's not even the they pay you. Is that even that you have stomach ache? No. But the, the same spirit will come. Take it now. Just one shot. One. But you used to take it before now. When you take it, you don't die. You have anything wrong, uh, wrong with like You don't do anything. So it will come different ways. Do it now. Uh, small, 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 this thing now. And uh, see now, don't look that tight. See, okay, see that woman will pass, you know, fine. And you know, if I pass that more, but for him to deceive you, he will not make this evil thing to look beautiful in your eyes, to deceive you. He will make this thing so beautiful, like, but when you really know, stand your ground, you will say, ah, eh, sorry, old, I don't want. You know, people say, ah, I look old. I say, yeah, to you, I look old, but to me, I look beautiful. I'm so beautiful. That's, I even look more beautiful than the way I was before. To shame that words. To be, not that person that is saying it, but those, the, the, the same spirit inside. When you caution that spirit, not that person, it's the spirit that you, are, that you caution. That spirit will not come again to mislead you. The person say, eh, he was telling me, there's one of my uncle was telling me, eh, 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 God, my name. If I if me say I never marry, I don't go marry a woman like you. Now I say guy come I say I never marry, I don't go marry a man like you. It was like you was there. Eh? I mean I say yes, I don't go for my man like you. You know what I mean? The time I say not be you. Yeah, you say not be my man. I not fine like this. He said no. My put some more, some more. I say eh? no worry. When are they put some scenes? How many people come? When are they dressed naked? They walk out for road. How many come? Now when I look so beautiful, every candidate. So beautiful, princess. You won't go to distract me. He said, I bet you look tight. I said, leave up for your eye. Like, I, I like, I like, I rebuke the word in him. I, I hush, I like, I cast that word in him because they will come, the devil will not come physical, but we come to man, to women, to all oh, my friends say, I bet you only pass. All the girls see you. You don't tell your things when you buy. If I back that come from here, and uh, that day we're gonna let me go start for the gates now. You see, I'm now. I said, no problem, that they wish. There's a pack of coming to the do the only who tells the losses they come that person. Who my other sister said, the day I told her I told my woman, eh, she cried. She said, Why me no pack of come give up for Nigeria? Why me no pack of come? Eh, who my way they cost? I said, Now your money. Now you buy them. I bought it with my money and I told you, you why? It's not good. If my Bible condemn it, why would I give it to you? Am I advising you to repent or am I advising you to, to, to okay, I want to say that so you will be condemned. I said, no, she was angry with me. But later, she combined with me. She don't have choice. She said, ah, not true to talk. Oh. Eh? I said, I said, not true to No, not lie. Oh. You should say, go take her, don't cut the other, or we will cut her. I don't care what to take about that. He said, eh? but at that flight, and I may go to a novel course. Like, over the neighbors, I don't told them when I came to Nigeria at that time, how did I look? They said, how did you find that? I know how you did God, you spark. I said, I lie. I did go for that time. Now, now I look beautiful now. Now, now I look beautiful. I said, you don't see me. I, I like, I started to post for them. I said, I've been going, your body to deceive you. Like, the Lucifer has blind their eyes not to see the beauty of Christ. He has blind them not to see that 
thing, to deceive them, to make evil to be good in the sight. But as a believer that Christ has opened your eyes to his knowledge, do not give heed to it. In my working place, when I went there, I said, eh, I have to put on trouser. I said, eh, why? He said, it's on that moss. I said, sorry, I'm not putting on trouser. The woman, she now looked me up to, to say, are you a Christian? I said, yes, I'm a Christian. He said, no, are you a Muslim? I said, no, I'm a Christian. And I said, mm. she now speak a Muslim word. Those are. So I said, I'm not putting on trouser. He said, on that moss. I said, I'm not putting it on. And I said, okay. We, we, now she said, okay, we can manage. With me, they can manage, they don't have choice, they have to cope with me. They gave me the top and I wore. But everybody there put on trousers. I'm the only one that did not put on trousers. And I asked her, Are you a uh, are you a Muslim? She said, Yes. And I said, It's good. And I said, My mind, um, the worship what you don't know. Like, be a difference among them. Do not let it to deceive you. Do not buy in the world. Do not give heal to those deceiving words. They will tell you, they will sack you, the boss will say, guys, sack me now today, but no, but no work, I, I, I go die. I mean, that work will qualify me. So you can say, trust, I want to do one talk on. No! That's what Lucifer have changed it to. Lucifer have turned it to deceive them, to make it beautiful in their eyes. But do not, be, as a child, do not let that thing to deceive, to distract you. Do not be deceived. By it. Do not be distracted. For the road is narrow. Different things will come. Not to be in the cloth. In the cloth aspect. Over in your own. In your marriage. Cause and so more. Now do the quiet yourself. And in every time you quiet for this man. You don't do too much. Asaram. Wait to give him the way. What time? Slami. You don't see what you be that time. Asaram. You don't do too much. It will deceive you. The moment you answer, mm, you enter the man, oh yeah, fight. It deceive you. It mislead you now. It deceive you from that way. But when you keep on quiet, keep on. Over the book, you tell me quiet. There was a day. I was reading my Bible in the night. You now say something very like, eh? It's time to like turn. I wish somebody would see me. Eh? We ask you, are you okay? Why, who are you talking to? I started rebuking that deceiving spirit. I started talking to him out. Like if I'm talking to somebody. Instantly, my mind came down. My mind came down like I glorify our father. Over on the road of times, it was started being deceiving me with different words. Things that have passed for long. It was started bringing it, reminding me to deceive me, to distract me. But by the word, by the mess of our Lord Jesus Christ, he will remind me with his word for me not to be distracted as a children of God. Why I'm saying those things, I'm not saying it because of, um, I don't know what to say. I'm only saying it for our soul to be saved. For we to be conscious of eternity. Because things will go, many things, but do not give heed to them. Do not be deceived, do not be misled. Just focus your ground as a child of God. Stand your ground. Do not let things of this world, the trial, the things, to change your way. Do not let the, the words of men to deceive you. Stand your ground as a child of God. Hold on to it to the end. Look at the book of Genesis. Uh, if he said the Lucifer, the serpent deceive, deceive her. When Christ asked her, you eat from the tree. He said, yeah, the serpent deceived me because why? She gave he to the walls of the Lucifer. I wish she didn't give he, she didn't listen, she will not be deceived. But she listened, she gave he, she not summarized with her, the not summarized with her. moment you listen to it, that you listen, you will not make that thing so beautiful in your eyes that, eh? You will think that people are deceiving you, see that God is telling you the truth. It will not make that evil to be good in your sight. Because why? It gives a listing. When you listen, you give you give listening ear to that deceiving spirit. It will not bring more. It will not come bringing more, bringing more, bringing more, bringing more to you. Do not let them. Do not let anyone to deceive you. 
Do not let the, because the road is really narrow. We are in a dangerous period, my brothers and sisters. We should stop fame. We should hold on to the word of God for we not to be distracted, for we not to be deceived. Amen. Amen. Please, I don't know if I can quickly turn to the book of 1 Corinthians 15, 33. First Corinthians 15, verse 33. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Amen. Hear what the Bible says. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupt good manners, corrupt good habits when you walk with them. When you be with them, they will corrupt you. When you put good fruit with a little one that is spread, that bad one will spread the, the rest ones. So that when I when I when I bought any fruit, I will look if anyone there is spread so that I will remove it quickly for you not to spread the other one, for you not to like make it spread. That is what the Bible means here. You see, do not be deceived. Evil company corrupt good habits, good manner, good behavior. As a light, you are working with all your friends among all of them are darkness. All of them. You are the only one that is light. This one will bring his word. This one will bring his word. And when you are not strong, they will mislead you. They will deceive you from the way. The evil company corrupt good manners. Good behavior, good habits. We should stand firm, my brothers and sisters. We should not give heed to the evil thoughts. We should not give heed to the words. We should focus. We should not let anyone to deceive us. We should not let anything at all to deceive us from the narrow path. To deceive us from the way that we have believed, from the word of God that we have believed. Do not, do not be deceived. I read this myself. Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians 2 to 11. Second Thessalonians 2 verse 11. I read in Jesus' name. He said, and for this reason, God will send them stone stone this distribution that they should believe the lie strong distribution that they should believe the lie because when you are telling them the truth they do not believe the God will not give them heart of stone that they should not believe lie no 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 you are telling them the truth that do not let them to deceive you do not let them to mislead you they will tell you the lie is this see that they, they did not Believe the word of God, God will not give them. It's stumble out for them not to believe. They should believe lie. They come and believe lie. Okay, come and go believe the lies. Do not believe the word of God. Because the light come, you feel to walk in light. They walk in darkness. Let everything that seems good, uh, uh, good in your eye become evil. Because those things that you see that they are evil is bad. But Lucifer will turn it to become good in your eyes. They take it, believe the words, believe the lies. May God help us, help on our understanding by his mercy, for in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.